Stop number five for the BMW IBSF World Cup Tour for men's skeleton had the shaping of an interesting metal round in the making. Our top five were separated by eight hundredths of a second after the first heat, with Matt Weston sitting in that fifth place position just in front of his teammate Marcus Wyatt in sixth. Weston had a great advantage going into the second run already over his teammate to hold his position, but Weston seemed to have something special in his sled today, exiting out of the Kreisel corner, propelling himself to five tenths ahead of his teammate and only continuing to accelerate down the track. Putting the top speed up for the second heat, Weston crossed the finish line 88 hundredths ahead of his teammate, making a strong bid for the medals. Chen Wenhao for the People's Republic of China was sitting in an unfamiliar position on the Altenburg track in fifth place. It was a great opportunity for this young slider to prove his capabilities against a already World Cup medalist. Chen, unfortunately, was not able to maintain the speed he had in his first run on his way down the track as he only continued to bleed his speed all the way as he crossed the finish line. Chen would find himself falling behind Weston, but doing no worse than fifth place on the day. A great result. Now the hometown boy and the medals. Axel Young sitting in the third place position. He was just doing whatever he could to hold off Matt Weston from the first heat. And now the pressure was on. Can he do it in front of the home crowd and secure the bronze medal on the day? Axel, an excellent slider on the Altenburg track, was putting together a great one but a few mistakes on his way down the track saw him continue to lose time. Unfortunately, as he came down into the lower portion of the track, that trend would continue, seeing Matt Weston again move up another position, guaranteeing a bronze medal. Could he potentially move up further? Another unfamiliar position for this strong slider of Korea, of Jung Sin Gui. He was sitting in the silver medal position, two hundredths away from a gold medal. Could he hold off Weston, who continued to seem to climb the leaderboard? A great run for Jung, but he could not keep the speed in his sled as he made his way down the track. Again, another clean run by the, Kale the Korean slider. But unfortunately, there was not enough speed that would match Matt Weston's run, which would see him fall to that fourth place position, a silver medal guaranteed for Weston. Now Christopher Grothair, our bid leader and our reigning Olympic champion. He's been in this position before, 200s up in the gold medal position. Could he hold off the Great Britain slider in order to secure another gold medal on the year? Unfortunately, Grothair continued to lose speed down the track as Matt Weston's run proved to be one of the fastest runs we would see for the day. Grothair continued to lose speed despite putting up one of the top speed trap times but would fall short to Matt Weston claiming another medal for himself on the season. Regardless, a great result for Grothair. Our top three was rounded out with Matt Weston, Christopher Grothair, and Axel Young. But a great result again for the British slider to be very proud of himself. Christopher Grothair is still our World Cup bib leader heading into next week as we return to Altenburg once more.